Welcome students, let's learn a new lesson, Changes in our surroundings. Can you tell, why can we see things around us clearly during the day and why can't we see them clearly at night? That's because during the day we get sunlight. That is why we can see the things around us clearly. It grows dark after sun sets. There is not enough light. We see the stars in the sky at night. But we don't see the things around us clearly. Day and night affect living beings. Let's understand the nature of shadows. In the morning, the sun rises in the east. Before the sun rises, we can see various shades of colors in the sky to the east. When the sun rises, its light is soft. The shadows fall to the west and they are long. The sun gradually begins moving higher in the sky. Shadows become shorter. When the sun is directly overhead, shadows are very short. The sun slowly begins shifting to the west. The shadows begin moving to the east and become longer. After the sun sets, various shades of colors are seen in the sky to the west. At other times, the sky is blue. Do you know, people specially go to see the sunset at scenic places. Mahableshwar in Satara district is a famous hill station. A spot in Mahableshwar is very well known for its view of the sunset. Tourists visiting Mahableshwar make it a point to visit to the sunset point in the evenings to experience the spectacular sunset. Let's see what happens from dawn to night time. Birds are the first to sense the end of the night. Their chirping begins from early dawn. If there is a rooster nearby, you can hear it crow. The birds leave their nests. They start flying in flocks and begin to search for food. Buds too begin to blossom gradually. Their petals start unfolding. The flowers have sweet nectar. Bees come to collect it. Butterflies, beetles and other insects start hovering around the flowers. People around us set themselves to work too. We also get ready to go to school. Cowherds take cows and buffaloes out to graze. Once their stomachs are full, they sit in a quiet place and ruminate. In the evening, the cattle return to their sheds. Flocks of birds return to their nests. We return home from school. But some nocturnal animals set out to search for food after the sun sets. Moths, crickets and glowworms are some such animals. Tigers, bats and owls are also nocturnal animals. Ratrani and Rajnigandha are flowers that bloom at night. Let's learn some new terms. Rumination. Some animals graze until their stomachs are full. Later, they bring back the swallowed food into their mouth again, a little at a time, and chew it. Then, they swallow the chewed food a second time. This is called rumination or chewing curd. Rumination helps them to digest their food properly. Cows and buffaloes are animals that ruminate. Nocturnal Some animals sleep during the day. They search for food at night. Such animals are called nocturnal animals. Let's understand the faces of the moon. The moon rises at different times every night. If you search for the moon at a fixed time every evening, you will see it in different places. The shape of the moon also changes every day. The day the moon looks completely round is called the day of the full moon. For 15 days after that, it appears to become smaller and smaller. On the 15th day, it cannot be seen at all. That is called the day of the new moon. After the day of the new moon, the moon appears to grow bigger and bigger for 15 days and is completely round again on the day of the next full moon. The different shapes of the moon that we can see every day are called the faces of the moon. Always remember, all living things are connected to the cycle of day and night. Therefore, there must be regularity in your daily routine. Thank you and please like, share and subscribe.